This home was like a wounded animal. It was sitting here just dying in front of everybody for a long, long time. We're in the Bosler, or otherwise known as the Bosler Yankee House. Bosler was a, a character. He ran away from home as a young man, ended up moving out here after getting married, and somehow landed on this side of the Platte River, away from the downtown Denver, and established his ice cutting business. And he was the ice man of Denver. Bosler lived here about 12 years, and then Yankee moved in. He was a, a banker, he, originally a miner, and he was one of the first successful guys up in Leadville and in Central City. He had it rich there and then came back to the city, established the North Denver Bank. Dr. Tilden was a character in his own right. His administrative house operations were here in the house. And then he built all the surrounding buildings. He was a great believer in wholeness and wellness of living. After Tilden sold it, it was, um, it was a boarding house for years. In 2008 to 2010, the owner of this property decided to do some pretty dramatic changes against permitting against the law, where it became much more dramatic, was that the owner decided to actually go so far as to try to get it demolished on several different occasions. When neglect was starting to happen to what was already a landmark property, Historic Denver was contacted by a number of the neighbors in the community and we got in contact with the City of Denver and that really is where the adventure began. The City of Denver had within its powers the right to fine him for not taking care of an historic structure and that fine was a thousand dollars a day. After a period of a year and a half they demanded he pay, and he was not able to do so. And the court appointed a receiver to sell the property, and that's when it hit the marketplace. And this is the first time the city of Denver had ever gone through a process like this in order to preserve a historic building. This building was without a roof for about six years, which you can imagine every single time it rained and snowed, that was something that I actually felt deep in my soul. We purchased it in March of 2016 and we moved in in uh, November of 2016. The most important partnership that the house had was the neighborhoods and of course the Landmark Commission and then Historic Denver had their place in this and History Colorado was also very important. They actually provided us a grant to help pay for the windows and the doors and some of the, the masonry efforts on the outside of the house. I feel like we're stewards of the home. We have saved the structure, and it will be here for hundreds of years. Everybody sees this building and says, this is my neighborhood, this is where I live. I'm very proud of that. The first year we did the Jewels of the Highlands tour, it, it, it was a revelation to us, the hundreds and hundreds of people who came in. The emotional connection that people had to this structure and to this home. I'm always glad when I open the door and somebody has a story to share with me.